It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So about two hours ago, there was a 6.0 earthquake in Elko, Nevada. And for those of you who think, oh man, Joel Shit's in California, Elko, Nevada, that's like right there. Well, not really. You probably couldn't go much farther from here and still be in Nevada. It's in the northeast corner next to Utah and Idaho, two bastions of progressiveness. And I didn't feel a damn thing. And I had asparagus last night. I was feeling that a lot more than any old earthquake. Believe me, I wish I could have felt it. And I love it because you read the article the, you know, with the breaking news and they talk to someone that works at a Motel 6. They talk about the Flying J truck stop and they talk about how someone was injured because a cigarette rack fell on her. This isn't doing much for the image of northeastern Nevada. Yeah. Told you cigarettes were bad for you. Even the racks that the cigarettes are on are causing injury. Another reason why you shouldn't be smoking. I don't feel bad for her at all. That's what you get for standing next to a cigarette rack. Yeah, that'll show you. So, I know they used to get earthquakes all the time because the elevation's pretty high there, but uh, basically anywhere where there's mountains, at one point there had to be earthquakes because mountains are made by earthquakes. Volcanoes are just kind of like earthquakes from the underneath and, you know, it's all plate tectonics and I know you like tectonic music. It's good for going out to the clubs. So, I always was amused by the name of Elko. The Motel 6 was in Wells, by the way. I want to make sure that Wells, Nevada doesn't feel left out, you know, when they're in the news. You know, this is much better than, you know, whatever other things that happen there are. I'm sure other things happen there. I don't think this is that this today is going to be known. Oh, February 20, it's earthquake day for the next 80 years. I'm sure other things have happened there. So Reno, or Nevada is kind of a weird state. Like Nevada in Spanish, Nevada, means snow-covered. And then Reno, or Reno, means reindeer. And I'm guessing that they didn't have, they didn't know enough Spanish to name the other cities. And they said, well, we already have reindeer. Let's name a city after elk. And then they're like, well, what's the word for elk in Spanish? And they said, I don't know. We killed all the Spanish speakers. Actually, it was 1800, so they could say they killed all the Mexicans. It wasn't politically incorrect to say Mexicans in the 1800s. And they probably said, oh, well, we killed all the Mexicans, so what are we going to call it? Well, we said Reno for reindeer. Why don't we just say Elko for elk and nobody will know the difference. And that's how Elko got its name. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at